Confessions of Faith The Bible tells us to hold fast to the confession of faith. Confessing God's Word is the best way of planting the Word of God into our heart. You can have what you say, if you say God's Word. Confession I walk in your godly kingdom today, for Jesus has destroyed Satan's kingdom in my life. Satan, I command you to stop your maneuvers in my life. I bind you and cast you out. Colossians 1 verse 13 Who hath delivered us from the power of darkness? and hath translated us into the kingdom of his dear Son. Confession I walk in total triumph in every situation, for Jesus has destroyed failure in my life. I am an overcomer and can do all things through Christ. I have the victory and the victory has me. I am a victor and a king. 2 Corinthians 2 verse 14 Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place. 1 John 5 verse 4 for whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world, and this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Confession I reign from my heavenly throne room position. For Jesus has destroyed an inferior position in my life. I rule and reign with Jesus today. Greater is he that is in me, than he that is in the world. Father, you are Lord of heaven and earth, and we go out and possess the land today. Satan's doors are closed, and many doors are open for me to speak your word boldly. Ephesians 2 verse 6 And hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. 1 John 4 verse 4 You are from God, little children and have overcome them, because greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Luke 10 verse 21 At that time Jesus, full of joy through the Holy Spirit, said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned, and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this is what you were pleased to do. Confession, I walk in soundness of mind and divine direction, for Jesus has destroyed confusion in my life. I identify with Christ's mind. I have the mind of Christ. I will not listen to the voice of doubt and discouragement. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16 For who has understood the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ.
John 10 verse 5, A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Confession I walk in divine health, for Jesus has conquered sickness in my life. I walk in divine health and divine life, because I have the divine nature. Jesus took all my sickness upon his body, and by suffering, I am healed. Divine health pulsates through every cell of my body every day. Sickness and disease cannot, and will not latch itself to my body. 1 Peter 2 verse 24 Who his own self bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, being dead to sins, should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes ye were healed. Matthew 8 verse 17 This fulfilled the word of the Lord through the prophet Isaiah, who said, He took our sicknesses and removed our diseases. 2 Peter 1 verse 4 whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Confession I walk in financial abundance. God supplies all of my needs not half of them all of them. Satan, take your hands off of my finances. Finances, I command you to be loosed from the world system, and placed at my account today, so I can do the work of the Lord. Philippians 4 verse 19 But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Confession Father, your anointing is on me today. It breaks yokes off the oppressed, causes blind eyes to see, deaf ears to hear hearts to open and understand. It causes the sick to be healed, needs to be met, and it draws full attention to your word. Father, your word is alive in me today. Revelation knowledge flows out of me every day. I operate in the gifts of the Spirit as the Spirit wills today. Luke 4 verse 18 The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind to set at liberty them that are bruised. Confession I walk in safety and supernatural protection today. Even though a thousand fall at my side and ten thousand at my right hand, it shall not come near me. No weapon that the enemy forms against me today shall prosper. Nothing shall by any means hurt me today. Psalm 91 verse 7 A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Luke 10 verse 19 I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you.
Isaiah 54 verse 17 No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Confession I walk in faith today, for Jesus has taken away fear and doubt in my life. Fear will not rule me, faith will. Whatever is not of faith is sin, so I speak words of life. Today, I cast all my cares on Christ today. I will go throughout my day worry-free. I choose to meditate on the promises, and not the problem. As I cast my cares on Christ today I will magnify God's word in all that I do. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Confession, I will speak life today for Jesus has destroyed a murmuring and complaining tongue in my life. My tongue will speak forth words of life today. My words will produce spiritual life in the hearts of men and women. John 6 verse 63 It is the spirit that quick kenneth. The flesh profiteth nothing, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit, and they are life.